Dear students, hello. Uh, it's Nakul Vam and today we will discuss about um, hyper and hypoglycemia syndromes. This is lecture for third course. And uh, before starting hypo and hyperglycemia syndromes, I'd like to go back to the anatomy class uh, and to remind you uh, normal anatomy, uh, normal structure of pancreas. You know pancreas has two parts, it's exocrine part and uh, endocrine part. And today we will be interested in endocrine part because endocrine part uh, of um, pancreas is very important uh, uh, because of uh, regulation of uh, sugar level of our blood. Uh, endocrine part has uh, about uh, more than 1 billion uh, Langerhans uh, islands uh, in one pancreas and uh, has uh, many different cells. Uh, first, uh, alpha cell, which produces the alpha cells, which produces the glucagon level. Glucagon, you know, increase uh, sugar level of or sugar level uh, of blood. Uh, next one is beta cells, insulin production, uh, which can uh, increase consumption of uh, glucose by uh, peripheral cells and uh, cause decreasing of sugar level. And also we have uh, delta cells uh, which produce the somatostatin hormone and somatostatin can suppress the production of insulin as well as glucagon production. And also pancreatic polypeptide uh, produced in uh, uh, pancreas and also ghrelin. And uh, here is structure, uh, histological structure of uh, islands of Langerhans. And uh, these islands are uh, in 75% uh, consist of uh, beta cells and 25% uh, represent other cells. And beta cells is polygranular cell uh, in one the cell maybe um, till uh, 10,000 granules and each granule contains the insulin hormone. And how produce the insulin hormone? Regulation of production of insulin depends on sugar level of blood. The increase uh, sugar level of blood cause increase ATP production and decrease consumption uh, consumption of uh, potassium and efflux, uh, which cause inc uh, which cause increasing insulin secretion. Vice versa, uh, low blood glucose level decrease ATP production and increase going into the cell uh, potassium and plus efflux uh, increase hyperpolarization of um, uh, cell membrane and cause decreasing insulin secretion. Insulin has uh, a very interesting structure. Uh, insulin uh, consists of three parts, three chains, A chain, B chain and C peptide. Uh, Pro-insulin uh, con uh, consists of uh, A, B, C chains and after formation of insulin, insulin has two chains, two chain A and B chain. Uh, Half-life of this uh, insulin, produced insulin, is about six minutes. And also we have C peptide, uh, which is uh, divided from uh, insulin, uh, insulin molecule and C peptide. Uh, half life is more, uh, much more, much longer than insulin uh, half life, and that's why the C peptide uh, we can use as a marker of insulin synthesis or insulin secretion uh, because insulin insulin very quickly destroy after action of insulin after binding with uh, uh, receptors of the cell membranes of peripheral tissue insulin uh, after action quickly will destroy uh, by uh, liver insulinase. But C peptide is not destroyed. That's why we use C peptide to uh, checking the amount of released insulin. Insulin function is very uh, unique and uh, at the beginning insulin uh, is anabolic hormone. As anabolic hormone insulin increase uh, fatty acid synthesis, uh, increase glycogen synthesis, increase uh, uh, also fatty acid formation and also uh, increase protein synthesis. 
It's a very, very important role and uh, also in liver, uh, insulin decreases glycogenolysis and uh, glucogen uh, gluconeogenesis and also decreases ketogenesis formation of ketone bodies. In adipose tissue, insulin increases fatty acid formation and uh, decreases uh, over destroying of lipids and increase glycerol formation. In muscles, uh, insulin also decrease protein catabolic, protein catabolism and increase protein synthesis uh, by increasing amino acids and uh, in decreasing amino acid oxida oxidation. And here is uh, a green color of insulin. Uh, this is stimulating part here is also uh, which insulin, which reaction of insulin which suppresses, stimulates, insulin stimulates anabolic all processes and also increase uptake of ions and decrease destroying processes, decrease, uh, uh, decrease the glucogenolysis, lipolysis, ketogenesis, proteolysis, decrease and also insulin uh, suppress the gluconeogenesis, formation of glucose from um, uh, amino acids from lactate for example. In, uh, uh, because of sensitivity, because of sensitivity to insulin action, our organs divided into two uh, uh, parts. First is insulin dependent organs, and next one insulin independent organs. Insulin dependent organs for consumption of glucose, they need. Uh, uh, they need insulin action. Uh, without insulin, they couldn't take and couldn't uh, get glucose. This is skeletal muscles, myocardium, and fat tissues. And uh, um, insulin independent organ. We have insulin fully independent organs and partial independent organs. Fully independent organs from insulin. Insulin, this is brain, red blood cells, RBCs, kidney, medulla, inflammatory, granulation tissues, wounds, and macrophages. This is fully independent organs. Other organs, they have partial, partially they dependent, partially independent on one surface of membrane. On the surface of uh, these organs, we have uh, different kinds of of, uh, glucose transporters glut 1 glut 2 3 4 and 5 there are five transport glucose transporters and these group transporters um, uh, 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 distribute um, uh, on the mem cell membrane and uh, uh, for example uh, glut 1 transporter and second and third transporter mostly uh, rep uh, mostly uh, presented on the cell of uh, insulin independent organs and uh, uh, on insulin dependent organs uh, like uh, adipose tissue uh, like muscles uh, there uh, um, we have glut4 uh, transporter uh, this uh, mostly represented on this kind of organs glut5 uh, uh, represented on kidney or maybe in uh, jejunum and etc. Uh, about 20 gram of sugar circulates in the blood, uh, while uh, 480 grams of uh, glycogen is stored in stocks. And storages, we have two storages of glycogen. First is uh, in muscle tissue, about 400 grams, and in and the liver, about 80 grams. A uh, large consumer of uh, glucose is, of course, as brain um, consumption of brain. Uh, it's about 115 grams per day, it's about 80 milligrams per minute and how we can uh, compensate a condition when our uh, glucose level uh, become to be decreased, of course, by uh, glyconeogenesis, uh, uh, gluconeogenesis, gluco during gluconeogenesis, formates the glucose from amino acids, from lactate, and it can produce up to 130 mg per minute and can cover our brain's demand. And let's discuss 
hyperglycemic syndrome. Hyperglycemia is increased blood sugar above normal, uh, normal range. A normal range of blood glucose, if you take capillary blood, it's, it will be in reach of 3.3 to 5.5 millimol per liter. But if you take uh, not capillary blood of patient, if you take plasma blood, uh, plasma venous plasma blood, it's uh, uh, four from four to six millimol per liter. Uh, we have three. Uh, kinds of hyperglycemia. First hyperglycemia is hormone-induced hyperglycemia. It uh, uh, may occur due to diabetes mellitus, deficiency of insulin or a deficiency of action of insulin. Another uh, other uh, endocrine disease also can cause the hyperglycemia like Cushing disease and Cushing syndrome uh, and uh, even in glucocorticoid therapy and hyperthyroidism in pheochromocytoma, pheochromocytoma, this is um, uh, a tumor which uh, origin, originate uh, from uh, medulla of adrenal medulla, pheochromocytoma, uh, gigantism and necromegaly. And uh, also uh, we have another uh, second uh, type of hyperglycemia. This is because, of course, hyperglycemia of central origin. Uh, it uh, may be uh, may develop because of encephalitis, brain injuries, hemorrhages, tumors, or poisoning. Uh, and uh, uh, I'd like to explain why increasing or decreasing some kinds of hormones uh, can result in hyperglycemia, not only deficiency of insulin. For example, uh, in pheochromocytoma we have excess production of epinephrine and norepinephrine. As you know, this is adrenaline. Epinephrine and norepinephrine, they, uh, they can uh, they can blockade of insulin secretion and also they increase the glycolysis and also inhibits of glucose uptake by cells and glucagon secretion stimulation and also cause destroying uh, over destroying of lipids and uh, result in hyperglycemia and all condition when, uh, conditions are uh, which uh, can uh, increase the uh, adrenaline or epinephrine or epinephrine production in our organism, for example, by tumor or maybe any stressful conditions, we have uh, we have as a result hyperglycemia syndrome. Next is glucagon mm -hmm. and uh, formated from alpha cell uh, alpha cells um, a tumor. Its tumor name uh, named is glucagonoma, and uh, during uh, due to glucagonoma increase. A production of glucagon and this glucagon this is also contrainsularic hormone uh, which action is against the action of insulin this uh, uh, hormone uh, increase uh, uh, glycogen analysis uh, destroying of glycogen and formation from glycogen uh, uh, much glucose uh, number and from amino acids uh, and increase activates gluconeogen uh, genesis from amino acids and lactate and slow down glucose uptake by cells activates lipolysis and also can activate ketogenesis in liver and also can result in hyperglycemia uh, glucocorticoids have, have uh, two, uh, 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 two sources of increasing glucocorticoids. It's maybe because of uh, Cushing disease and Cushing syndrome. Cushing disease, uh, when, uh, because of uh, tumor formation in interior pituitary gland, may produce uh, mo uh, more excess uh, ACTH hormone, and ACTH or hormone overstimulates the general gland and uh, increase glucocorticosteroids. Uh, production and second is uh, Cushing syndrome and during Cushing syndrome also uh, because of maybe adrenal gland hyperplasia or maybe uh, overtaking of uh, gluco uh, glucocorticosteroids uh, during treatment uh, develop Cushing disease uh, Cushing syndrome and uh, it doesn't matter Cushing syndrome or Cushing disease both of them result in gluco glucocorticoids um, overaction and glucocorticoids overaction result in protein increase protein catabolism destroying of protein and uh, from uh, proteins uh, amino acids formated uh, glucose uh, um, 
by uh, uh, activation of gluconeogenesis and also um, cause um, <coughs> uh, uh, hexokinase uh, inhibiting and uh, result in hyperglycemia also. Uh, next is uh, thyroxine, a T4 hormone uh, and T3 hormone, T4 hormone increase in uh, such con uh, condition as hyperthyroidism. A primary and secondary hyperthyroidism they can uh, also uh, 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 they can also stimulate the glycogen analysis uh, and also increase uh, action of epinephrine and norepinephrine. Uh, we know T4 and T3 hormones, uh, they increase sensitive sensitivity of peripheral tissues uh, to the um, action of ketocalamines. And also we have here uh, glycogen analysis and increased glucose level in blood, a hyperglycemia condition. Uh, another um, a disease uh, which uh, result in increasing uh, growth hormones, somatotropic hormone, uh, this, uh, or the, the are gigantism and acromegaly, increasing growth hormone, growth hormone, also contrainsular hormone, which acts, acts uh, because, uh, against the uh, insulin, uh, cause uh, increasing uh, alpha cells, alpha cells hyperplasia and cause increasing glucagon secretion uh, and increase uh, uh, stimulate the liver insulinase. Liver insulinase, this, um, this is an uh, enzyme which destroys the, uh, destroy the released insulin. And uh, next third, uh, third uh, type of hyperglycemia, this is hyperglycemia which caused by medical substances uh, mm -hmm. like uh, glucocorticosteroid substances, uh, typical uh, antipsychotic uh, substances, statins, beta blockers, uh, thiazide diuretic, diuretics mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, uh, calcinurin inhib inhibitors, mm -hmm. all of these uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, medicines uh, during uncontrolled uh, using uh, and prolonged using of uh, these uh, medicines can result in hyperglycemia also. And uh, first term, term of uh, diabetes uh, was uh, first used by Demetrius from Epimania, second century, comes from the uh, Greek uh, and uh, it uh, translated as penetrate, penetration, uh, uh, which result in the um, uh, high urination of person uh, and high urination like siphon uh, and uh, many other uh, ancient uh, uh, cultures also uh, had uh, um, and also described uh, described uh, this uh, diabetes mellitus as uh, um, a sweet uh, 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 as a sweet urine disease for example in India they were uh, they also uh, called this disease as sweet urine disease Disease, which urine which is um, attract the arms and also um, uh, ancient Korean Chinese and Japanese cultures also they had uh, they uh, called this disease as sweet urine disease and because um, diabetes mellitus um, is uh, the most reason of hyperglycemia syndrome, let's discuss first about diabetes mellitus as an decrying metabolic disease which developed due to absolute uh, this type 1 diabetes or relative type 2 insulin insufficiency and characterized by chronic hyperglycemia changes of different system and organs of patients. This is multi-organic uh, result. Uh, uh, there are uh, three types of uh, diabetes mellitus, or four types of diabetes mellitus. First type of diabetes mellitus uh, occur uh, due to destruction of beta cells, which mostly leads to absolute insulin insufficiency. It may result in autoimmune or idiopathic. Uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus, this is resistance to insulin and relative insulin insufficiency or defect of insulin secretion with or without resistance to insulin. 
third group is other specific types uh, which we discussed already this may be because of genetic defects of beta cells function or maybe because of genetic defect of insulin itself function or maybe pancreatic diseases because it's for a long time chronic pancreatitis can result in also scar uh, result in scarring process in pancreas and uh, uh, decrease amount of beta cells or maybe because of trauma or pancreatectomy a tumor of pancre pancreatic gland or maybe um, uh, hemochromatosis and etc. Uh, other endocrine diseases as we discussed already this acromegaly, thyrotoxicosis, Cushing syndrome or maybe uh, gigantism uh, or also can result in hyperglycemia, can result in uh, diabetes mellitus and also maybe drug exposed which drug we already discussed and may sometimes maybe infection and others mostly which infection which kind of infection this is of course viral infection and four type this gestation diabetes which occur in pregnant women now I'd, I'd like to explain uh, what is uh, the insulin insufficiency uh, first type of diabetes mellitus and second type here is stru the structure of second type of diabetes mellitus normally uh, after increasing sugar level uh, uh, increase sh increasing sugar level cause increasing of insulin production insulin uh, binds with receptors of our cells and this binding open the cause opening uh, of this um, channel, uh, channel uh, uh, glucose transport or for example 4, GLUT4 to the glucose consumption and glucose go into the cell and, uh, 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 and uh, as an ener energetic, energetic uh, source. In the first type of diabetes mellitus uh, we have uh, absolute insulin uh, um, deficiency uh, less production of insulin here uh, because of uh, decreased number of beta cells or maybe uh, destruction of beta cells or uh, maybe um, hereditary decrease amount or uh, uh, sometimes autoimmune to which binds the beta cells which uh, at the beginning we have less production of insulin no production of insulin see compared this is normal he is less or sometimes no production of insulin there is no connection with receptors of course glucose uh, uh, channel not open and glucose will stay in blood and cause hyperglycemia condition of the second type of diabetes mellitus we have normal insulin production uh, and uh, but uh, action of insulin uh, is uh, depressed uh, this action of insulin can depress uh, because of antibodies to the insulin something will bind this insulin released insulin or maybe um, our receptors not sen sensitive to insulin insulin receptors not sensitive to this insulin and uh, again as a result we have uh, no channel opening and glucose will remain in blood and cause hyperglycemia clinical signs of diabetes uh, diabetes is uh, a very uh, you it's uh, uh, connected with the increasing um, increasing glucose level increasing glucose level in blood increasing glucose level in urine cause hyperosmolarity of blood and hyperosmolarity of uh, urine that's why it is a result uh, in polyuria this is increased excretion of urine uh, because of osmotic pressure of urine increase and uh, um, uh, polyuria it means uh, increase amount of urine more than 2 2.5 liters per day polydipsia and it's a constant un unsatiable uh, thirst it caused by significant uh, significant uh, loses uh, of water in the urine and also increases motor pressure of blood as uh, you mentioned before polydipsia and our patients uh, wants to drink uh, water mostly cold water freeze water as much as they want it's uh, may sometimes uh, till they uh, can drink per day till three or five liters per day polyphagy is a constant unsuitable hunger uh, because um, 
uh, metabolic disorders in diabetes, uh, uh, inability of cells to capture and process uh, glucose in the absence of insulin. No insulin or no insulin action, our cells uh, couldn't consume the glucose and uh, um, glucose will stay in blood, but our cells will, uh, um, uh, will have uh, um, uh, our cells uh, uh, become to be uh, hungry and they uh, uh, they cause polyphagy symptoms, they stimulate the appetite of patients. Weight loss, especially characteristic of type 1 in diabetes, develops despite the increased appetite of patient. Uh, weight loss or even exertion is due to increasing catabolism of protein uh, and fats due to the shutdown of glucose from the energy metabolism of cells. Uh, main symptoms are most common for first type of diabetes mellitus for uh, absolute insul insulin deficiency. Another rare clinical science developed slowly for many years. Uh, it's a result in itching of the skin and mucous membrane, vaginal itching, for example, in women, dry mouth, general muscle weakness, headache, inflammatory skin lesion are difficult to treat, a visual impairment, acetone in urine, especially in first type of diabetes, uh, is because of uh, resulting of burning of stores because in insulin, absolute insulin deficiency, because destroying of whole metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, destroying, which result in hyperglycemia, uh, uh, protein metabolism, increased catabolism of uh, proteins, and and, uh, um, uh, and uh, result in weakness and etc. and uh, weight loss and increasing uh, gluconeogenesis and uh, in uh, lipid metabolism which result in lipi uh, uh, lipolysis which result in uh, uh, lipolysis can um, cause increasing ketone bodies and also uh, acetone formation, acetone accessing in urine. And here is uh, symptoms of diabetes, main symptoms of diabetes, blue, uh, um, emphasized uh, uh, by blue color, most uh, common in type 1 diabetes mellitus. Mm. And um, here is the differences between the first and second type of diabetes. Uh, mostly first type of diabetes uh, occur in young person under 35 <coughs> years old, uh, when whereas type second type uh, uh, occur in uh, can cover middle age or old age uh, person. Uh, beginning of disease and first type mostly acute in second gradual duration label and stable on the second type. Ketoacidosis and ketosis are more character in f for first type because of uh, here we have absolute insulin and deficiency and second type rarely develops because we have increasing of insulin only action of insulin not uh, uh, not uh, not enough uh, body weight um, on the first type is decreased or normal uh, but uh, most of patients with second type of diabetes mellitus they have predisposing factor as obesity and obesity character in 80 to 80 to 90 percent of our patients. Uh, obesity uh, can result in decreasing sensitivity of uh, our cells to the insulin action and uh, uh, in person who has overweight, who is overweight or who has obesity, who is obese, we have um, uh, less uh, uh, less uh, receptors on uh, cell membranes uh, and uh, also decreased sensitivity uh, of our receptors uh, uh, to insulin. Uh, treatment, of course, because first type of diabetes uh, um, uh, caused uh, by insulin deficiency, uh, we treat by replacement therapy by insulin and of course we change the diet of patient. And second type we start from uh, treatment by diet and by uh, uh, sugar decreasing drugs and uh, at the end stages of course we uh, 
we can add the insulin therapy. Uh, mostly the first type is uh, middle and high degree, uh, when second type uh, is middle or maybe mild or sometimes hot. Connection with HLA system, of course, present in first type, then in second type, and uh, level of insulin and C peptide on first type, of course, decrease because of decreasing or absent uh, absence of uh, insulin production. On the second type, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning time, we have increasing, even increasing level of insulin production, uh, but uh, frequency will be normal level and also of course uh, if you uh, if we want to assess how much insulin produced uh, per day we we should uh, uh, check amount of C peptide antibodies to beta cell mostly character for type 1 is present in 80 to 90 percent of patients of first week month late complications uh, for first type uh, more correct uh, formation of macroangiopathies uh, whereas on the second type for second type character macroangiopathies microangiopathies it means microangiopathies it means um, uh, destroying of small vessels uh, type 2 macroangiopathies uh, for this character destroying of large vessels like coronary uh, vessels or like uh, uh, branches of the water uh, and uh, result in brain stroke, result in coronary heart diseases, myocardial infarction, and etc. Mortality on the first type is less than 10%, or on the second type, because of macroangiopathies, mostly because of cardiovascular complications, it's more than 20%. Spreading, of course, there's uh, a high prevalence. We have a uh, second type, 80 to 90. Uh, percent. And how we diagnose these diabetes mellitus? Of course, we diagnose by checking of blood glucose level, and of course, we should uh, 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 we should check the glucose tolerance test. And uh, uh, oral glucose tolerance test. Uh, uh, we provide uh, during two hours at the beginning we check the normal fasting blood glucose sugar level and then uh, give patient uh, drink syrup or um, sweet syrup which contains 75 grams of dry glucose and 300 milliliters of water. In two hours we recheck this blood glucose level. And uh, you see, if you take capillary blood of patient uh, and in fasting condition, before fasting glucose level should be in normal range. It should be between the 3.3 to 5.5. Uh, 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 and in two hours, this fasting glucose level in, in normal patient will be uh, 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 increased in two hours, but uh, should be not more than 7.8. In, uh, um, if your patient has pre-diabetes or impaired fasting glucose, uh, uh, impaired fasting glucose uh, will be between the 5.5 and 6.1 and after 2 hours between the 7.8 and 11.1. If your patient has diabetes mellitus, at the beginning in fasting glucose level will be high more than 6.1 and uh, uh, in two hours for diabetes mellitus character increasing of glucose level more than 11.1 uh, but if you check venous plasma uh, during fasting uh, it will be of course in normal condition more, uh, less than 6.1 and after in two hours will be seven uh, less than 7.8 if your patient has pre-diabetes or impaired fasting glucose it will be 6.1 to 7 millimole per liter and uh, after in two hours impaired glucose tolerance uh, for impaired glucose tolerance character 7.8 to 11.1 and in diabetes mellitus condition in fasting condition uh, when patient is hungry his glucose level will be more than 7 uh, which increase in two hours and uh, become to be more than 11.1 and uh, here is our uh, diagnostic criteria of disturbances of carbohydrate and in normal carbohydrate tolerance uh, uh, this presented in uh, millimole per liter and also in uh, milligram per deciliter and also we should check 
glycohemoglobin and glycohemoglobin level in normal condition should be less than 5.7. If high uh, uh, glycohemoglobin level, uh, uh, we know hemoglobin, this is protein, and uh, li a prolonged time uh, circulation uh, or in blood glucose level, hyperglycemia condition can uh, uh, can cause attachment of uh, hemoglobin with the glucose and increase glycolyzed glycolyzed hemoglobin level. And if uh, glycolyzed hemoglobin level will be within uh, between 5.7 and 6.4, this uh, more character for pre-diabetes. In diabetes mellitus, it will be more than 6.8. Uh, glycolyzed glycolyzed, uh, glycolyzed, uh, glycolyzed uh, hemoglobin will be more than 6.5 in diabetes mellitus. And also you should check the urine to the acetone uh, content and uh, also check urine to the um, uh, con content uh, to uh, glucose content. If increase glucose in urine, we have uh, glucose urea, uh, is, uh, it calls glucose urea normally. Um, uh, in urine absent, we have absent of glucose. At the beginning, sugar rises in blood, and uh, only when its concentration in blood exceeds uh, the threshold value of the kidney for the kidney. And threshold value for kidney is about 9 millimol per liter. Sharp it will be 8.8 .8 millimol per liter. If, uh, amount, uh, if amount of um, glucose in blood more than 9, Mm, it uh, can appear in the urine uh, and cause glucose, glucosuria. Of course, to differentiate the uh, diabetes B from diabetes, uh, oh sorry, uh, diabetes first type to from diabetes second type, of course you should check the insulin level and products are produced uh, uh, insulin level you can check by checking the C-peptide. And C-peptide level in first type will be decreased uh, uh, or absent and the second type it will be a uh, normal range. Uh, to uh, get uh, uh, to get uh, causes of diabetes mellitus, of course, you can check uh, uh, antibodies. For example, iron cell antibodies uh, test uh, uh, or uh, glutamic acid dehydrogenase. Uh, decarboxylase antibodies test or insulin antibodies test. This test for uh, checking sources of diabetes mellitus. Uh, we have complications. It's very difficult disease, as you know. Diabetes mellitus uh, has uh, because of very complications and has uh, polyorganic action. Uh, first is because of angioparties. We have two angioparties, microangioparties, which destroy the small vessels and can result in uh, damaging of kidney by uh, uh, by developing nephropathy or eye by developing of retinopathy and uh, sometimes maybe angiopathy of lower extremities. Second type of uh, angiopathy is macroangiopathy, uh, destroying of large vessels. Macroangiopathy, this is heart, ischemic heart diseases, uh, which, uh, can, uh, uh, which can clinically be by um, angina pectoris and by a myocardial infarction. And damaging of brain by brain stroke, angiopathy of all extremities. And also, this is diabetic neuropathy and neuropathy of uh, uh, damaging of central nervous system, encephalopathy is developed, and peripheral nervous system, and visceral dysfunction of inner organs. Uh, Long term degenerative changes in the blood, vessels, heart, the kidney, nervous system, and the eyes is responsible for the most of mor uh, uh, morbidity and mortality of diabetes mellitus. A uh, skin lesion, uh, uh, patient's skin is dry and each infection of skin by bacterium, fungi, candidas of the external female genitalia, hyperkeratosis, nail disorders are common in patients with diabetes mellitus. And most common skin lesion is diabetic dermatopathy. Uh, you see here diabetic dermatopathies, 
and prolonged time with the Dermata body can result in scarring process and ulceration uh, of the extremities. And bones and joints uh, develop osteoporosis and uh, osteoarthropathies are uh, in diabetes mellitus patient. And in GIT system, uh, appear by uh, gastritis, um, decreased uh, secretion ability, gastroduodenitis, hepatosis are common in patients with diabetes uh, mellitus and also visceral dysfunction of GIT as a fragile neuropathy, diabetic gastropathies and enteropathies. And cardiovascular system, uh, uh, of course, we, uh, as you mentioned before, uh, this uh, uh, diabetic uh, autonomic cardiopathies and uh, cardiomyopathies, and also maybe ischemic heart disease, and you know frequency of the uh, uh, frequency of um, myocardial infarction um, uh, is uh, um, uh, more prevalent, uh, more common in female. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, for example, uh, for in female uh, non-diabetic, um, uh, if you compare non-diabetic ten times uh, uh, and even twenty times uh, uh, more. Uh, then in uh, uh, then in uh, normal uh, without diabetes mellitus and the respiratory system uh, represented by muco uh, uh, mucomycosis of the there's the pharyngitis sinusitis bronchitis pneumonia and especially character tuberculosis for example in our country in your countries are uh, also common in patients with diabetes mellitus and you know the crop microbes they like sweets and in diabetes mellitus increase switch level and increase tuberculosis on such kind of patients kidneys and urinary tract uh, uh, mostly character any kinds of inflammation processes like like pyelitis, pyelonephritis, cystitis, and also developing of diabetic nephropathy because of um, microangiopathies. And nephropathy, diabetic nephropathy, uh, represented by glomerulonephritis and even kidney, chronic kidney failure. Uh, okay, eyes, diabetic retinopathy uh, uh, is rarely present at diagnosis in first type, is present up to 20% of second type of patients. And about 85% of uh, diabetic, uh, all diabetic eventually develop some degree of retinopathy. Here is three uh, stages of retinopathy. First stage is the ground retinopathy. Second stage is maculopathy or uh, preproliferative retinopathies. And third stage is proliferative retinopathies, which can even result in blindness of patient. This is most common uh, cause of blindness of patient. Uh, diabetic angiopathy of lower extremities uh, uh, may be caused by atherosclerosis of large vessels, leads to intermittent uh, claudiation, cold extremities, and other symptoms, which can be also found by arterioles and capillaries are affected uh, by microangiopathies. And uh, lower extremities and gemopathy divided into three parts because of origination uh, or cause. Uh, first is non clinic stage, then functional stage, and then organic stage. You see, uh, in organic stage, we formated uh, even uh, these kinds of boots and uh, these kinds of uh, even gangrene. And uh, arthropathies also develop, may develop arthropathies, food becomes too shorter and wider, aversion, external rotation, and fluttering of uh, longitudinal arch. Uh, peripheral neuropathies, because of damaging uh, sensiti uh, sensitivity uh, of lower extremities. And diabetic food, uh, there are three kinds of diabetic food. Ischemic, we have prevalences of uh, decreasing uh, blood supply, neuropathies, and uh, maybe mixed type. Uh, okay, next is hypoglycemia syndrome. A decrease in blood glucose level below the 3.3 millimole per liter. Hypoglycemia condition may be uh, as, a, um, as a 
complication of diabetes and uh, if your patient uh, uh, um, uh, patient's blood sugar become to be less than 3.9 even uh, will start the hypoglycemia condition but it's 3.3 this is uh, the uh, very um, small uh, normal small amount of glucose level if your patient's glucose level become to be less than three it will be clinically significant hypoglycemia and in severe hypoglycemia no specific glucose threshold it uh, depends on uh, beginning um, a level of um, hypoglycemia for example they have patients whose uh, um, uh, beginning uh, patient with diabetes mellitus and uh, in normal condition uh, in fasting uh, diabetes mellitus uh, glucose level for example uh, it was um, 13 or 14 and even when his uh, um, glucose level uh, become to down or go down uh, even till 6 may develop hypoglycemic condition even. It depends on any kinds of situation also and to beginning, uh, beginning uh, starting uh, glucose level of blood. And uh, uh, here is um, uh, causes of hypoglycemia. First of course maybe because of drug or insulin. Uh, insulin uh, using or uh, alcohol consumption or sometimes in critical illness uh, diabetes uh, patients with diabetes mellitus in critical illness like hepatic renal or cardiac failure or uh, uh, sepsis or after surgery therapy also may uh, develop hypoglycemia condition or sometimes in uh, contracellular hormone deficiency like deficiency of cortisol or deficiency of glucagon hormones or uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine hormones can also result in uh, hypoglycemia uh, uh, because of endogenous hyperinsulinism uh, also can develop hypoglycemia because of overproduction by tumor insulinoma insulin level and uh, other causes how clinically appear low blood sugar uh, sugar appear by shaking sweating anxious dizziness hunger and patient feel uh, fast heartbeat, palpitation, impaired vision, weakness, fatigue, headache, and irritable, irritability, and uh, of course the first is, uh, this is a sweating, sweating of patient. And uh, how you treat, if your patient is di has diabetes mellitus and uh, uh, overtook, overtook insulin and uh, after taking insulin didn't eat, um, become his sugar level become too down and cause hypoglycemia condition. On this condition, uh, how you can help the patient? Uh, quickly, uh, you should give uh, quickly absorbed carbohydrates such as a uh, glass of fruit juice or maybe a three teaspoon of honey or sugar and any kinds of uh, carbohydrates. You can give free chocolate and then follow up with more slowly absorbed carbohydrates like sandwich like biscuits or, or uh, any glass of milk or piece of fruits and uh, of course you should retest the blood glucose level after 15 minutes okay thank you my dears if you have questions um, please you know my contacts and feel free